Hi! First, I'm gonna apply a sunscreen. This is from the Korean brand Selfishency Laser Sunscreen. This is actually my first time trying this though. I heard this is their bestseller in Olive Young. This brand is it. Their sunscreen is like um, skincare and sunscreen. So it take care of your skin and protecting your skin from sunlight. Don't forget your neck. I'm a bit shy when I talk in English in front of camera though. So I'm really sorry if my English is not perfect. I think the sunscreen brightens my skin a little bit. Hmm. Next, I'm gonna apply this Jong Samu Skin Setting Glowing Base. Here. I've been using this for a while now and it kinda gives some natural glow to my skin. I only apply on my cheeks area because if I apply on my T-zone, it's gonna get a little bit oily. Let me zoom in a little bit. You see my freckles. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna cover my dark circle with this Clio Q Cover Concealer. This is the best one I've tried so far. I also use under my nose area to color correct. Then I'm gonna use a cushion puff to blend it all out. Then I'm gonna apply a tiny bit of mouth over here just to cover a little bit more. Next, I'm gonna use Bond 3 Cushion. This is in number 2. I tried it yesterday and it just sits on my skin very nicely. It's also long lasting. The weather right now in Jeju is around um, 17 degrees Celsius. So it doesn't melt, it gives like natural skin. Mm. And the color does match my skin very well. And then I'm gonna use this cream contour from Etude House. It's Play 101 Stick in number 3. And I'm blending it out with my Opio 4 Way brush. And on my nose too. You know when you apply some foundation or cushion, your face will lose a little bit of its shadow and dimension. So I always use cream contour and then following with powder type. And then I'm gonna use this Thai brand called Boni. It's the powder just to set everything all together. And then a little bit over here because you don't want your hair to stick on your face. A little bit on my forehead. For brows, I'm using this pencil. It's another Thai brand called Coslux. Then I'm gonna use this Jong Samu Artist Contour Palette. I'm gonna use the light color here just to fill everything naturally. And then use the dark color here. And then apply this color, just bronzing my face. Don't forget your double chin area. And then contouring my nose a little bit more, just to make it more defined. Then I'm gonna use this brow mascara from Dolly Wink. It's in number three. Moving on to blush, I'm using this 3CE Rose Beige. The color is a little bit too light, so I'm gonna build it up a little bit. I'm focusing on this area here. For eye makeup today, I'm using this palette from Clio. It's called Clio Pro Eye Palette in number one. Simply pink. I'm gonna apply this color. I apply all over my lids and then under eye here. Then I'm using my finger to apply this color. It has a little bit of shimmer. 
Next, I'm gonna apply this dark color over here. And then blend everything all together. Then I will add some glitter with this color here in the center of my lips. Then I'm gonna use this 3CE eye switch. Apply on my egg your side, blend it naturally. Eyeliner time. I'm using this Thai brand. It's called Aria. This is in real brown. Okay. By the way, I have my lash extension, so I'm not putting on mascara over here, but I will put on my lower lashes. I'm using this Lily by Red in mocha brown. I forgot to put eyeliner over here. It will make your eye even more larger. And this is the eye makeup. For our lips, I'm gonna apply this Lily by Ray. A uh, mood liar velvet tint in number six. This is really long lasting. Next, I'm using this Inga flat liquid lipstick in Coral Coco. And I'm blurring my lip line here. For highlighter, I'm using 3CE Sturbing Skin Palette. This color. And last step, I'm using Super Face Glowing Mist. You have to shake it first. This one adds some glow to your skin and also set your makeup to last throughout the day. It smells nice too.